vote for Austin's runoff election. And just in time, the Austin Monitor has an exclusive new poll out on the race for mayor. Publisher Mike Canyon here with the preview and your headline this morning, Mike, saying Steve Adler's lead over Mike Martinez is increasing. That's what we think. Um, and uh, we've got some numbers back that up on the website. Uh, some things to note from the yeah. poll. Uh, the favorable, unfavorable ratings. We had our, our pollsters ask a couple questions of, uh, of a, a number of respondents. We actually got 846, which is a, wow. yeah, it's a pretty good sample. Um, Adler's got a, a north of 60 on the, on the favorability and about 20% undecided. So a lot of folks actually haven't really made up their minds yet about him in, in, ter in, those, in those terms. Martinez has a different set of issues. 48% uh, or so find him uh, favorable, which is um, which is not necessarily the most positive news. 13% haven't haven't really made up their mind yet about him. So a good majority or a good chunk of people still don't may not know who they want to vote for, or at least maybe they're kind of thinking maybe I'll vote for this guy, that guy. Depends on favorable and unfavorable. I think you know I think people are still making up their minds about what they think about these guys. Yeah. Um, we do have some pretty definitive numbers, like I said at the at the uh, at the website about where the race is and and who's out in front. Um, and uh, love for your uh, viewers to come check it out. Absolutely. Some surprises uh, in the poll as well. You know, I think there. I think there are some surprises. I think that the uh, the the lead that we have up there is, is a surprise. I think that's a. I think that's a surprise. Were you surprised to get so many people to respond to your questions? Absolutely. Yeah. We uh, our our pollster was uh, was not convinced we could do the poll. I mean, when we started with this project and and uh, and uh, you know about a day in, he was like, yeah, this is uh, this is a pretty good size of folks that are getting back to us. So um, so yes, I think I think it's a fairly um, uh, a fairly accurate group that we got. And, and that must be encouraging too though because it seems like people really care about the race for Austin's mayor because that's a huge job. It affects everybody in the city. I think that that's right and you know we, we didn't see maybe the turnout that some folks had hoped for this time mm -hmm. but of course because it was in November we saw a lot more folks at the polls than normally are. Um, you know we typically see a drop off from the general to the runoff so that's to be if we you know I think the 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 numbers were around uh, what was it 32 percent made it all the way down to council races yes so if we if we um, you know if we see a drop off even down to 10 12 percent totally expected I mean but you know and not you know I, I of course don't know how many people are going to come to the polls but uh, but I think it's it's these are encouraging signs I think for for democracy in the city all right can't wait to check out that poll you can go right now um, to the Austin monitor we'll link up that page Great. to you. our page at kxan.com a few reminders that early voting runs December 1st through the 12th election day is Tuesday December the 16th always a pleasure to talk to you great to be here thanks again